Hi everybody, it's Ken from KDTS in Langley, British Columbia. Today we're going to have a look at how to back up QuickBooks to a QBB file and then send it to our accountant using Google Drive. Um, there's lots of ways to send the file, but I'm only going to show uh, one different scenario. So the first thing we need to do is open up our QuickBooks and log into our company file. Now, if you have multiple users, one thing to note is you can't create the backup when you're in multi-user mode. So you'll want to make sure that you are in single user mode before you get started. So to switch between single and multi-user mode, it's in file and then switch to multi-user mode. If you were already in multi-user mode, it would say switch to single user mode. So again, we want to make sure that we're in single user mode. And then we would just go to file and then create backup. The process is pretty straightforward. We're going to choose a local backup. Go next and hit save now. Hit next. Now, if you're going to be um, putting it um, so it's easy to access, I would recommend that you just put it on your desktop uh, just for the, the fact that it's easy to find. By default, it calls it the name of your company file and then it integrates the, the date and it's a .qbb file. So we're going to hit save and it's going to save it to our desktop. Because we're saving it to the same computer that uh, is hosting the file, it warns us that that might not be a good idea because you, you know, if your backup is on the same computer that your uh, active data is, then there's that potential for loss. But because we're not doing this for uh, a data safety or backup reason, uh, this is okay. So we're going to hit use this location. Now it does take a couple of minutes, depending on the, the size of your file and how fast your computer is. Uh, to, to run the, the database consistency checks, it checks the file and, um, and uh, then creates the file for you. So we're just waiting for a moment here and hopefully it'll be pretty quick. And you can see that it's just validating all the uh, transactions and exporting everything to the QuickBooks file. So it's almost done here. And there we go. So it created the QBB file on our desktop for us. You can see that it's um, saved on the desktop. So we're going to hit OK. At this point, we can close QuickBooks. And now you'll see that we have our QBB file here on the desktop. So what I would recommend is if you're using Dropbox, you would put it in your Dropbox folder. Um, as I said, I'm going to put it in uh, Google Drive. So I've already logged into Google Drive and I just made a temporary folder for the purposes of this. So I'm going to go New, File Upload, and then I'm going to go to the desktop and grab that file. Hit Open, and it's now uploading it. So again, depending on how large your file is, it can take a while and the speed of your internet connection. Um, I'm sitting on a, a, a virtual server which is in the Amazon data center and it's very quick. So our upload of 109 megs took just a couple of seconds. So now you can uh, see your file, right click on it and share. Now, if your accountant has a Gmail account or a G Suite um, email system, you can just type in their email address and uh, send the link to them. This is ideal because it gives you the best uh, security. Uh, it requires their login and validation before they have access to the file. If they use a private email server or a non-Google account, then you might have to um, share it as a link so what you can do is you can um, go to the additional options and change and you can go um, anyone with the link so anyone with the link means that literally anyone with the link can get it so make sure you're careful about who you share it to and how you share it 
Um, I would also say that after you've confirmed that they've received the file, that you go back and disable those share settings. So in this case, we're going to hit um, anyone with the link and hit save. So now here's the link. We would copy it and then simply paste it into the email to my accountant and, and send it. Later on, my accountants told me, yep, I've received the file, everything is good, I'm going to go back and I can either just delete the file or again I can go into the share settings and uh, go to advanced and change this from uh, anyone with a link to off and that's going to disable sharing that file again just to make sure that there's no security issues going forward. So. Pretty straightforward. As I said, um, I use Google Drive. It's an easy one for me. If you use Dropbox, it's really just a matter of copying that from your desktop to your Dropbox and then sharing out a file with uh, your accountant. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and if you liked it, please like and share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot. Hi there and thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, Please subscribe and watch some more. Thanks.